Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, April 12th. <laughs> and this is my No Catchy Name episode number 170, I believe. And it's gonna be super short because I haven't done hardly anything. <laughs> so I have one finished object, one active whoop, and then the other active whoop I didn't even bring in here because I haven't done anything with it. <laughs> I've been mostly busy this last week dealing with my baby. <laughs> June has been a little under the weather, but she's doing a lot better now. Um, but she's still real cranky. <laughs> but um, I'm going to take her to the doctor and everything, but she's fine now. And um, she's just a baby. <laughs> she is 10 weeks old now, almost 11 weeks. Actually, tomorrow morning she'll be 11 weeks old. So um, time's flying. But yeah, so my one finished object is the peanut butter and jelly squares <laughs> uh sandwich pieces <laughs> by all of it stringy ding ding it's a free pattern or you can also buy it because she has pdfs and um i'm pretty sure i haven't showed this in a no kitchen name episode yet i don't know <laughs> i know it was a um national holiday crochet she's crying now i can hear but then it's got her um so yeah so i just made these the um this is red heart i've been saying buff but i actually think it's Aaron. Uh, that I'm using a big ball of and then this is uh, Cafe Latte This is I love this yarn toasted almond and this is red heart uh, Lot raspberry. I got little uh, six millimeter safety eyes and I just stitched on the little mouth and some little cheeks on the girl one Y'all have already seen these before I've showed them a couple times, but now it's a done done thing I done showed it on an episode so it can go on to wherever it's gonna live. <laughs> I don't know if Jesse wants these or if um I'll end up donating them but I did uh, crochet them together and I didn't stuff them or make the arms and legs because I like them better without arms and legs but there's my one finished object now my one active whip that I'm like actively working on to try to finish is my shrug my stonewash it's called the stonewash shrug by making do crew I've been working on it forever <laughs> I started it February 7th and here it is two months later and I'm still trucking away on it but I did have a baby in between there so uh, I've been busy with that baby <laughs> But, um, yeah, I got the whole shrug body done. You guys have already seen it. The whole body, the sleeves, and the cuffs are done. So now I'm just working on the collar that's taking forever because it's long. Because I'm making a large size. I'm a larger person. So here's some of it. I have worked a lot of it. I'm almost done, actually. I was hoping to finish it today, but June just kept crying. And I would do, like, a row or two, and she would need attention. And then uh, I only got about maybe less than 20 rows left to do. I keep laying it in the floor measuring it. Uh, I stopped right in the middle of a row. So it's got to be the whole um, length of the, sh the shrug when you lay it out folded. So it's like this long from here to here. So it's got to be double that. You know, it's got to go all the way around the opening. And uh, it's almost there. So I'm hoping to get this done in the next few days if I get a chance. Devin's off this coming weekend for Easter. So he's off Good Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Just because his already scheduled days off just happen to line up. So he gets a four-day weekend. But I'm hoping to finish this. Because <laughs> I got another one, another um, wearable. And then I found another one that I want to make. So I got one more that I'm going to start as a Stitch Your Stash project. And then there's another one that I've just found the other uh, yesterday. That I saved on my Ravelry favorites that I want to make uh, eventually. Because <laughs> I keep finding stuff I want to make. But the yarns that I'm using for this project is... This is uh, Red Heart Stripes Zebra, and then this green is Red Heart Super Saver Glow Worm, which is discontinued, and I hate that because I love it. And I am using an eye hook, yes, which is a 5.5 millimeter. And I'm gonna have some glow worm left over. I got that much, and like I said, I got less than 20 rows to do, so I'll have this saved for some Halloween project, I'm sure. Um, or maybe some kind of hat, I don't know. I'll figure that out when I get there, but then it's gonna be over. And it's like really hard to find unless people just have it stashed somewhere. That's how I got these, this ball and the other ball that I had. Someone sent it to me uh, because I like it so much. And But you can look on like eBay and stuff. And you can see where there were listings, but they've sold out. It makes me so sad. I got super excited because I was on Michael's website the other day. And it was on there uh, as a colorway. And when I clicked on it, it said out of stock. So I was like, no. So like delete it if it's not going to be there because it's, it's disheartening. <laughs> but anyways... That's what I'm working on, trying to get this done. And then I do have that strawberry bucket hat that I started, but it's still exactly the way it was when I first showed it to you two weeks ago. I have not touched it at all. And it's because I've been trying to finish this. 
usually I'm not this monogamous, 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 is that right? Usually I have a, a bunch of whips going, but um, I'm just trying to focus on finishing this. It's taking forever. <laughs> I've, I've, I'm surprised I got done with the body so fast, but the collar is taking forever. But it is just double crochet back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it's just taking forever. I'll be so glad to be done with it. So I'm going to try to finish that up this week. And then I'm going to finish up that hat. I also found another hat that I want to make. I got a lot of projects I don't want to start. I just have to. I want to try to finish up these other ones first. That's all I got. That's it. That's everything. <laughs> but um, I am going to be working on some more bags. They're going to be quilted zipper project bags of all shapes and sizes because I'm using up scrap fabrics I have. I will be working on them this weekend. So they'll hopefully go in the shop. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe next week. I'll for sure announce when uh, I get ready to put them out for you guys. So yeah Etsy did increase their fees so I was debating on whether I should increase my bag prices slightly but they're all, I feel like they're already pretty expensive but if you compare my bag prices to other bag prices on Etsy mine are cheaper um I don't like to charge a ton you know it's, I feel bad charging too much but I do also have to charge for my time plus the materials so uh, it's, it's just kind of confusing because Etsy just keeps raising their fees and um it sucks but at the same time I don't have the mental capacity right now to run my own website <laughs> so I like I know I could save money if I bought a domain name and ran my own shop from my own website but it also would take much more mental power than I have right now with the baby and the kid and we're getting ready to homeschool and all that stuff so um to me it's just easier to pay their fees because it's the same as if I bought a domain domain name I would be paying fees to them too not selling fees, but I'll be paying them money every year to host my shop. So it's kind of evens out <laughs> when you think about it. But um, yeah, anyways, that's just stuff I'm dealing with right now. So if I do end up having to increase my bag prices, it'll only be a smidge, a little tiny amount. Because every time I have had to increase them, I try to increase them very slowly so that it's not like a um, sticker shock to people. But uh, yeah, that was a random tidbit. Also, I'm going to say, I want to say this disclaimer. <laughs> I talk fast <laughs> that's just who I am I'm not gonna change who I am if you don't if you can't understand my talk you're just I'm not the channel for you so you can if you're subscribed you can unsubscribe and leave if you're not subscribed all you gotta do is click out the video and go find someone else there are literally hundreds of yarny youtubers out there you do not have to comment and tell me that I talk too fast uh, and that you can't watch my video I don't know what to tell you like okay sorry bye but um, I don't know what to tell you <laughs> it's just I'm not gonna change who I am I'm an energetic person who talks fast, and that's just how I am. If you want to, there are three little dots up in this corner. You can click on that, and you can go to playback speed, and you can slow down a video or speed it up. I personally watch all the videos I ever watch two times speed because my my everything about me is really fast. <laughs> my hearing and everything. So I, I watch everything really fast. I talk really fast. I do stuff around the house really fast. I sew really fast. I crochet really fast, except this this thing. Thank you for <laughs> But, um... I don't tell you, if you don't like the way I talk or the speed that I talk, just leave. It's that, it's that simple. It's literally that simple. There are people that I've quit watching over the years because they talk too slow on the other, even sped up, or they take forever to get to the point of what they're saying, which is a pet peeve of mine. But, um, and I, I just stop watching them. I don't say I'm leaving because you're not the way I like it. I just stop watching. It's that simple. Just do that. Just stop watching. Go away. <laughs> Anyways, every time I get a comment like that, I do delete comments and I also block that person from my channel. So that means they can't ever watch my channel again <laughs> unless they make a new account and find me. Um, so if you've ever said, if you're ever going to say a mean comment to me, just know that you're going to get blocked <laughs> from the channel. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say that because I've gotten a few comments talking about how fast I talk. And it's like, okay, if you can't understand me, then just leave. It's just that simple, you know, whatever. People are just weird. And and. It's usually really older people who say that. And it's like, I'm sorry. I talk fast. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm going to hop off here and record Watch Your Work on Wednesday today. It's Tuesday, but I'm not going to have a chance to do it tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and record it today. So I'll still be wearing my Britney Spears shirt. <laughs> and um, you'll see it tomorrow, but it's been recorded today. Because, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.